Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while and I am so sorry about that, but I'm ready to jump into this and um, get the ball rolling again with YouTube vid videos. Um, spring's about to be here, just fresh new start. Here we go. So today's video is um, my top five tips on how to be successful at selling on Poshmark. Um, Poshmark is a free app. It is very user friendly. Um, it's just a flat shipping fee. They have a great system set up with the USPS to where you can go in and use any boxes as long as it isn't an express box um, to ship your items. I personally actually order boxes from USPS for free. They deliver to my doorstep. I don't have to do anything um, like going to Staples and buying boxes and taking more costs out of my own pocket. Um, so yeah, I... Like, that is a huge benefit to using Poshmark, so I definitely encourage um, signing up if you've been interested in this. My first tip is when you first start your Poshmark account, um, you're going to instantly notice that you're getting a lot of followers. Followers are very, very important. Um, it's just like having followers on Instagram or Facebook that anytime you post an item for sale, those followers are going to see your item on their feed. So kind of like um, on Facebook, how you have your main feed that you just see everybody's posts. That's exactly what Poshmark has, and people will instantly see those your listings. Um, my second important set is relevant to this same um, topic is you're going to notice people are sharing your items. It is very important to share back. Um, Poshmark is very community-based. So they want to see you interacting with the community. So it's the way their algorithm also plays in. Um, so for instance, my first three months of selling on Poshmark, I made sure I followed 100 people a day and I also shared 100 items a day. And when I say shared 100 items, I don't mean my own personal items. I mean other people's listings. It just drives more traffic to your own closet. It also... Um, has something to do with like it puts your listings in the mix of like just shared and that's like their um, default on feeds and when people like type in specific for instance if I'm looking for a pair of Nike free runs the default is just shared so they're gonna see just shared items first um Along with, it is very important to share your own personal closet. Um, I share my closet twice a day now. When I first started, I shared it three times a day. And I mean, I get that this is very tedious work, especially if you have, there's some people I know that have 400 plus listings. They can't share their cl entire closet every day. Right now, I think I have like 35 active listings. So the 35 items takes me maybe two minutes to share. And that definitely is a huge, um, it plays a huge role on making sales on Poshmark. Um, I roughly make about six sales a week within, from Sunday to now, I've only made two sales, which is fine. I haven't been very diligent on sharing my closet. Um, one was actually an offer that was sent to me and I accepted it. And then the other one, I guess that was an offer as well, and I accepted that. So with that also being said, um, when listing your items on Posh, which is abbreviation for Poshmark, um, definitely leave some wiggle room on being able to accept offers and allowing people to make offers and send out offers. Um, I guess that brings me to tip number two, sending offers. So... We can take this back two seconds again and make sure you price your items to have that wiggle room because a lot of my sales have come from offers. Um, for instance, I have a pair of Ugg shoes that I'm actually just like, I'm ready to let go of them. And um, I had them listed for $65. I think I have five people that have liked the item. Um, so they have this... Um, they have this option to send offers to likers, and that's what I did. I still hit that button. It gave me a little platform that said, um, enter in your offer, and I typed in $50, and I selected free shipping, so I'm paying actually the $6.79 it is to ship for Poshmark, but that still puts my end payout um, 
after fees are taken out around like $38, which I am 100% okay with. And hopefully somebody will accept my offer today and I'll make another sale. Um, so I really, really love that off that option along with it being very, um, it definitely helps with making sales on Poshmark. Um, my third um, with that being said, my third tip though is to also have reasonable prices. Excuse me. So, um, I understand like my Ugg shoes were probably $150, but I also know they've, they're, they're on a used platform. Um, Poshmark does also have a boutique side to it, but I'm not going to get into that, to that today. Um, so when somebody searches this, they're typically thinking, I'm going to buy it used to get it for cheaper. And so you need to remember that as well. Like if you were buying something from Poshmark, would you, and it was used, like you're going to think to yourself, I'm going to get a better deal because this item is used and it just definitely just have reasonable prices. Um, for instance... Free People is definitely a really high-end brand that sells well on there. And, um, I mean, retail-wise, they sell for $120 plus, but resale-wise, like, a lot of my items go for around $20. Bucks. And I'm okay with that. Like, I can totally, um, I am prepared to accept low offers on those items. So, just, um... Tip number three, just have reasonable pricing to your items, do your research, um, which then brings me to tip number four. Um, to get that reasonable price, definitely look at sold comps. So they do luckily have the option if you go to um, filter, you go down to listing, listing type I believe. It has available listings, new tag listings, and then sold listings. So for every item I list, I always research the sold, um, and that kind of gives me a breakdown of like previous items I have sold recently and how much they're going for. Um, granted, that doesn't keep in mind like any canceled listings. Like these just show flat out sold listings, um, and that's where I get a majority of my pricing for everything from. So definitely use the sold comps as a backup and it'll definitely help you out with your, um, it'll help you out with selling your items. Um, and then my last and final tip, tip number five, is try to keep relevant brands. So, and when you pick the relevant brands, also make sure to add that brand to your listing, like on the title, don't just say blue shirt, like put j crew blue t-shirt like just put the brand in there because people search like um for instance this is a lucy top i love lucy brand so i type in lucy workout top and then anyone that has that kind of wording in their listing it'll be listed um Relevant brands like Lululemon, Free People, J. Crew, um, Lucky Brand, Birkenstocks, especially Birkenstocks right now with it being the summers coming up, people are looking for them. Um, it definitely plays a huge role on whether or not your items are going to sell because people are looking for the trendy items. Um, Pinterest is great to figure out what is trending at the moment because all those items that show up on your feed as recently pinned. Um, like what I do is I take that outfit and I'm like, okay, I need to find these items in my own closet or if I'm out, um, thrifting, like I'll pick those up. A lot of my items are secondhand picked up from somewhere else. Um, my personal closet is not great. I've already gotten rid of all that stuff. So, <laughs> um, but I definitely hope these tips help you out with your Poshmark advan adventure. Um, down below. We'd love to see you on the platform and let me know if it works out for you. Bye guys.